Hi, and welcome to Always Dolls. Today we are back with another decorating video. Here we show how to make fall themed pieces perfect for the doll mantle. But first, let's clear away last season's display and get making. To make a rustic faux window, cut a 14 by 10.5 centimeter rectangle of foam board. For trim, we are using popsicle sticks. Lay out, mark and cut the sticks to fit the top, bottom, sides and center. Before adhering the sticks, glue on a rectangle of silver mirror card stock for the window panes. Since we use liquid glue, pop something heavy on top while everything dries. Next, glue skinny sticks to the sides of the window to cover the exposed foam board. The window looks great, but has more of a beachy vibe than autumn feel. To fix this, make a simple stain by watering down brown acrylic paint. Coat the popsicle sticks with the stain, making some areas darker than others for that rustic look. Now, take a push pin, ours is black, and insert it into the top center of the foam board. This will give us a place to hang our fall wreath. The base of our wreath is cut from an empty spray can lid. We close the ring up with sticky tape. Next, squeeze a drop of hot glue on the inside of the circle and attach a thick string of jute. Apply more hot glue, then wind the jute through the circle. Ensure each loop is pushed tightly together for best results. Before you finish wrapping, stop and adhere a small loop of jute. Then finish off the winding process. For decorations, we found mini styrofoam apples at Daiso some fake leaves, ribbons, and mini plastic cherries from our craft stash. Take your time and enjoy arranging your pieces for an aesthetically pleasing wreath. Next, we are upsizing a My Froggy Stuff candlestick craft. A link to her amazing video will be in the description box. Off cuts of eight millimeter dowel are cut to be eight centimeters tall and six centimeters tall. You also need to cut, stack and glue circles for the top and bottom. Roll 1.5 centimeter wide strips of paper around the ends and middle for extra detail. We spray painted ours metallic gold. At the same time, we painted the cauldron from this inexpensive Peppa Pig set black. Okay, let's make more decor. Using bits of foam board and scrapbook paper, we can make a book cluster. Cut a foam board rectangle, then cut your paper to be long enough to cover the front, side and back. Apply glue and wrap the book up. That's it. We made three books. Glue the top two books together, then push a flat sewing pin through the middle. Carefully glue this to your bottom book as seen on screen. For that extra fall flair, take a mini styrofoam pumpkin, also from Daiso, and push it through the top of the pin. Super cute, super easy. From more scrapbook paper, cut a strip eight by 2.5 centimeters for bunting. Fold the strip in half, and snip a flag end. You will need four of these. In black marker, write one letter for the word fall on each bunting flag. You can easily switch this up and make your bunting spell Halloween, family, autumn, anything. To string our bunting, we have a 35 centimeter length of brown wool and mini pom-poms. Make a loop and knot the wool. Thread on a pom-pom, then glue the first letter. Put glue on the inside and fold over to encase the string. Repeat with more pom-poms and letters. Since our wool was thick, it helped to insert a broad needle into the tube first, then pull the wool out. When you get to the end, tie another loop and knot it tight. Dress the mantle with some coordinating fabric. Add the bunting, feature window and wreath. Place the black cauldron full of candy, a candlestick and a trio of pumpkins. On the other side, position the remaining candlesticks and stack of books. Time to clean. Mmm, candy. I love Halloween. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to Always Dolls for more miniature crafting fun.